This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we'll be cutting dry fast or open cell foam with the AccuCutter and also a standard electric kitchen knife. We'll start with the AccuCutter 350. The base of the AccuCutter 350 is flat so you can run it along a tabletop to create a straight cut and it does a great job cutting this foam. Now let's use the electric kitchen knife. We're going to mark the foam here so we can use it as a guide to help guide our blade. And then we're also going to line up the foam against the edge of a table so that our blade can run along that edge. This will keep the blade nice and straight. We'll realign the foam here before we cut so that that line is directly on top of the edge of the table. You can pick up an electric kitchen knife like this at any good department store. I think you'll notice the results here is just as good as the AccuCutter 350. The only issue with the AccuCutter 350 is that it costs quite a bit of money, whereas a standard electric kitchen knife only costs about $15 or less. We can also use electric kitchen knife to make angled cuts. We're going to mark our foam here at 2 inches and draw a straight line on the top so that we can use that as a guide for the top of the knife. So we're going to angle this foam. You would want to angle the foam if you had a, uh, a V berth and the foam was against the hull of the boat. And then we're going to put a glove on and we're going to hold that knife, being careful not to get cut, and have a second person guide the knife at the bottom edge of the foam. You must be careful when holding the blades at the top with your glove. Do not want to hold in front of the uh, blade where the teeth can cut into your glove and also into your finger. So be careful you do that. And then as long as you have a person watching the bottom portion of the blade and a person watching the top portion of the blade, you can get a perfectly cut angled piece of foam. Alright, let's get a close-up of this and let's also get a side angle view to see how the cut came out. So using an electric kitchen knife works great as you can see. You can also use the electric kitchen knife to cut wedges out of the foam to create a curve in the foam. Here we're cutting a wedge out of the dry fast foam and you'll notice when the wedge is removed that the foam creates a nice curve. If we're satisfied with the curve, we then glue it in place. When cutting wedges out of foam, it's not uncommon to cut smaller wedges until you're satisfied with the curve that the foam creates. So here we're cutting out a little bit more foam to make a little bit deeper wedge to create a little bit sharper edged curve on the foam. In this next example, we're going to cut a wedge out of a larger sheet of foam here, and you can do it uh, exactly the same way using that electric kitchen knife. We used a marker to mark the foam for the position that we're going to be cutting this wedge because it's very difficult to see your cut once you get started. We're going to speed up the process here, but you basically just want to cut until the wedge is removed. It's always a good idea to start with a smaller wedge, and then if you need the curve to be a little bit more sharp, cut a deeper wedge. Okay, let's take a look at it. Alright, that's almost a 90 degree curve. We're going to glue that section together to show you how that's done. The Sailrite recommends using a 3M Super Trim spray adhesive to glue the wedges together. You can also use the Bostic contact cement uh, that Sailrite sells as well. We'll apply it to both sides of the wedge. Once the foam is coated, you need to allow approximately a 5 minute dry time before bonding the sides together. Here we are five minutes later and we'll use a heavy object just to secure the foam in place until the bond takes hold. You can also wedge the foam between uh, furniture if you like if you've got a big sheet. This is eight hours later. Here's what the curve looked like before we glued the wedge together, and here's what it looks like after we glued the wedge together. It's approximately the same curve, about a 90 degree turn. 
Because foam is expensive and sometimes not the right size, it's not uncommon to glue sections of foam together to add to its size. We have a separate video showing you different adhesives for the dry fast foam. Be sure to watch that video as well. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to order your supplies from Sailrite.